Welcome to Boomer TV. Let's get right to it. You know, it seems like earlier in our lives, it's so much easier to set goals because our lives seem to be more well-defined. It's the getting the job that we want and getting the house that we want and getting the kids through school. But later in our lives, it seems to be a little bit more difficult to define exactly what it is that we want. Therefore, boomers tend to stop setting goals that will motivate us and inspire us to higher levels of performance. So here are three ideas to help you set goals that can make a difference for you for the rest of your life. Goals, number one, need to be specific. You've got to be absolutely precise about what it is that you want. You can't set a goal to be happy because how do you know if you are if you're not? You can't set just a goal to be wealthy because one person's wealth may not be another person's security. It needs to be able to be answered with a specific yes or no. Have I achieved it or have I not? Second is the one the motivational speakers don't tell us. It needs to be realistic. Hey, let's face it. If you're 55 years old and weigh 250 pounds, you're not going to be a jockey in the Kentucky Derby no matter how much you want it. In other words, unrealistic goals don't motivate us. But here's the secret. Most people don't set unrealistic goals. Rather, they set unrealistic time frames. So be certain that you have a realistic goal and a realistic plan to achieve it. The third one's a little surprising too. Goals must be written. In my years of traveling and speaking to folks about goals, I ask them, where do they keep the goals that they set? And the number one response is right up here. We keep them in our heads rather than establishing a contract with ourselves for achievement. So make your goals specific, realistic, and written and the rest of your life can be the best of your life. This is Scott McCain for Boomer TV.